a lot of work has been done around standardization, both from the IAB perspective and also from you know this vast and fee paid compliance situation. Um, we've certainly made huge strides. The challenge, and this is what we were talking about on the panel earlier, is m mapping the need for standards and the need for metrics and efficacy and optimization around standards with everyone's desire to do something more creative and think out of the box and do really you know, consumer engaging creative, um, there's a gap. And so every time we get far on a standard opportunity, someone does a really cool interactive something, whether it's you know, around social media or mobile or whatever it might be, and it and pushes the envelope in the video space. And then we are back to what is the standard? Do we need a new standard? How do we um, absorb these new features and, and new creative capabilities? Creative will always lead. And so, you know, that's the challenge for us. So tell us about some of the standards and ad units that, you know, that are on Yahoo. They're sort of the bigger trends that are appealing to advertisers and also to the users. Sure. So we um, really focus on a broad breadth of programming and ad units for our advertisers. Um, different types of ad creative work differently and better against different types of, of programming. So we have... Um, pre-rolls that, that run against certain types of content. We support longer and shorter um, pre-roll lengths. We do a lot of brand branded entertainment, branded content, um, sponsored programming, and we embed bumpers, which are really short, sort of the three-second splash, splash message. We have product placement. Um, we also do video and banner, you know, that, that sort of rich media video engagement unit. Um, we do overlays. We'll be doing those in Q4. So I think there are a lot of different types of video advertising, um, and we really try to map the market segment to the consumer and against the right type of content and different ad formats support that. Okay, so what's the issue in your mind or an advertiser's mind about branding versus click-through in, in stream video and sort of how does that shake out? Um, so all advertisers are not created equal <laughs> and so what agencies are looking for from a metrics perspective on campaigns and, and the efficacy and the value of the campaign are all very different. Um, some are only um, mapping to click-through rates, um, some are only mapping to completion rates on the pre-roll, some are only mapping to some type of DL study or whatever against brand engagement and brand lift. So we really look at that going into it to understand where we should be placing the media and what type of ads we should be running because they're all looking at something different. So video advertising, it's a little bit like television, it's a little bit like display, or how do you explain it, uh, you know, in a conference like this, or when you go to pitch an agency, what's the, the value? Well, it's sight, sound, and motion, so it's arguably the most impactful, emotional, engaging ad unit that we have out there. Um, we definitely talked a lot on the panel about the difference between our digital advertisers and the digital agencies and what they're looking for from um, metrics and, and reporting and, and success on an online campaign versus the TV buyers who are starting to get very interested in online video but have a totally different view on how they want to use it. So we're dealing in a world of can we do CPC and CPA and you know go beyond CPM and go beyond pre-roll and do all these cool interactive things from one bucket of dollars and then we have the biggest bucket of dollars out there, you know, the 76 plus billion dollars of TV spend where they kind of just want to buy reach against shows. And none of us are dealing with that particular model online. We don't. You don't buy shows. Um, you don't buy reach necessarily. You buy a specific audience. You buy guaranteed impressions. You buy click-through rates. And, and so we're trying to either you know, operate two businesses at once or try to pull some sort of middle ground together. And I think all of us are, you know, dealing with that differently as we work through our agency partners and with our clients. Tell us about um, the opportunity, well, about sort of the CPMs now, the pricing and how that's going, how you're seeing it. Also, if certain content gets higher rates than others, and if, is there video that sold sort of vertically in certain sectors? Is it across the entire network through ad networks? Give us an idea about, you know, the value of video and how you guys charge for it. Sure. So video generally has been holding its own, I think, in, in, a, in a down down economy. I hate to say it, but in a down economy, video has been definitely performing well. Um, what we have seen is an emergence of 
class two or preemptible or you know just this plethora of the video ad network so where we had no yumis and trimmers and broadband enterprises and all of those a few years ago suddenly there's an enormous opportunity for agencies to leverage these networks and they're willing to do that so they're okay with not knowing where the 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 buys are actually happening day over day they're okay with not having a full publisher list going into it um, they believe the audience demo targets against that and so there is you know a, a lower CPM floor than there ever has been before on the flip side there are also more and better engaging opportunities around premium content guaranteed impressions um, you know in the twenty dollar plus uh, CPM range and so all of us are moving larger and larger libraries of video content online, you know, TV quality video content online, and that grows that premium bucket for advertisers, and they're very interested in that too. So, I mean, I think it's a, it's a blend. I think smarter advertisers are all placing bets on both sides of that. Um, they're definitely trying to hit the same eCPM, so whether that's class two, ad network, class one, premium, original programming, they're all trying to drive you know, more and more and more with the same number as they spent last year. Um, and so we're all trying to support it with different formats. Let's just talk um, about the emerging platforms, particularly mobile for video and sort of where that's going and how ads play into it and where that might be going and what you guys are up to. Did you know that I was talking about mobile before? I didn't. Okay. So we all had to had to place our bet on um, what the future of video advertising looks like and, and find it's always mobile. I will always say it's mobile. Um, and I think we are making huge strides in that space. You know, from a, from a Yahoo perspective, I was talking about Tech Ticker, which is an original program that we do for finance. It's sponsored by Scott Trade and it has its own iPhone app now and you can watch a lot of video from Yahoo on our Yahoo mobile apps um, and I think you know that's a really great place for advertisers to start to be because it's with the consumer you know it's it's where they are and there are multiple opportunities where your ad message translates very well in a smaller space it can't always be the same creative there's not a huge reach play right now because all the carriers and, and you know their challenges across the board especially in the US but um, I think it's definitely you want to be where your consumer is and more consumers have a, have a phone and more consumers have their phone with them than their laptop and other things all the time and so where you can tie into habitual programming usage and application usage and be part of that you definitely should be.